Hello, my very most beautiful Pisces. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing well. It's Jess from Be The Change Tarot, and we are going to be doing your November weekly reading. It's going to go from the 1st through the 7th. It is a general reading, my loves. It will not be able to, you know, resonate for everyone out there. If you want something that is tailored for your exact energy, I do have personals open. Everything that you guys need to know about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Pisces, please, may the messages that you need to hear the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Pisces energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. All right. So, the bottom for our, what we have for our overall mutual general energy, we have the Ace of Swords. Some kind of realization, some kind of communication. I feel it's both. Somebody's having a major realization and it is sparking communication here, okay? Now, I do feel like this is somebody that you have had a hard time um disconnecting from okay with the devil energy here you still feel them energetically i do feel like this is somebody you've had a hard time disconnecting from you still feel very tied to them okay um but i feel like you've been trying not to focus on it trying to get them off of your mind with the nine of swords in the reverse so i do feel like when this communication there's something about it almost that feels um like you just like there's it hasn't been the healthiest for you Okay, whether it's codependency or toxicity, whatever it is for you, there's something about how bound you've been to this connection, how hard you've tried to, you know, release it um, and not being able to you always come back to this is what it feels like. Um, so when this communication comes in, you know, I'm, I think it kind of knocks you off balance for a minute, but I feel like you're trying to figure things out here. The person you're dealing with. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Swords in the reverse, and the Temperance in the reverse. So there's something here that they're figuring out when it comes to what they want moving forward. But I feel like they don't know how to communicate that. There's still more that they need to figure out. And with the Temperance being here in the reverse, I feel like they don't know how to get things back to a good and balanced place with you. I want to clarify a couple things and then we're going to pull some what you don't see coming cards, okay, from the bottom of the deck. So let's take a look actually. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Why is that the general mutual energy? Why is the Ace of Swords here as a general mutual energy? Four of Wands. So this person is having some major realizations about what they want, what their end goal is here. Okay? That's where, what this clarity is. They may not know how to get there, but they're starting to come into the awareness and the clarity of what that looks like for them. You know, the Four of Wands can be a, it can be a card for marriage. It can be a card of a union. Um, it can be a card of having to step through a portal with that 1111 being here. It can be twin flames. It can be um, a goal, an accomplishment, a finish line. It can be all of the above. It kind of feels to me that this person is starting to realize that there's something that you guys have to go through, some kind of portal that you guys have to step through. There's something that you guys have to go through in order for you guys to have a successful reunion. Okay. Now... I do feel like they're coming into some clarity and awareness about what it is you guys may have to go through as well as what it is they want, okay, what the end goal is. 
I feel like you know what you want. You know what the end goal is for you. But um, you never thought you could actually have what you wanted. I feel like that's why you're trying to release it. Because up to this point, um, I feel like you never really thought that you could have what you wanted with this person. Okay, for whatever reason, whatever this toxic energy is here, um, or whatever kept you guys from working out in the first place. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull some cards and see what is coming in that you don't see. The Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands in the reverse, Seven of Cups in the reverse, Hermit in the reverse, Two of Swords in the reverse, the Moon card in the reverse. Wow. Queen of Cups in the reverse, Five of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So what you don't see coming, um, I do feel like there is going to be some kind of offer coming in. I feel like somebody is going to be breaking the silence here, coming out of this um, period of being within, being on their own. I feel like the person you're dealing with, um, I feel like this is somebody you guys haven't been in a lot of communication with. Okay, and I do feel like they're coming out of that energy with the hermit showing up in the reverse. They've made up their mind here. Okay, they've made some kind of decision to come out of this. Things are becoming very clear to them with the moon card in the reverse and with the seven of cups in the reverse. They almost, it's like they know what to do now. Okay, now that's coming in the immediate future. Like I said, right now, I feel like what they're doing is getting all this clarity, getting all this awareness of what they want and how to get there. Okay, because they are not sure in the current moment how to get there. Okay, how to make this successful, how to get to that end goal. Okay, how to get you guys through this. But they're coming into that in the immediate future. They're coming into that clarity. Things are being um, illuminated for them with the moon card in the reverse. I feel like you're not going to know how to handle it. That's another thing that's coming up that you don't see coming. Okay? I do feel like you could be hesitant to communicate with them or to really move things forward with them with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. I do feel like it brings up a lot of emotion for you. A lot of love that you still have for this person a lot of love that they still have for you and i feel like that makes you maybe not in the most control over your emotions okay with the queen of cups in the reverse and um, because you have you've been trying to release this there's something about it that hasn't been the best for you but at the same time you love them and you missed them and you want it and there's just a lot of conflicting emotions there's a lot of emotions all at one time okay keep in mind that however you feel all of the feelings are valid whether they're conflicting or not you can think somebody is not what's best for you and want to release them while still being in love with them. I mean, you can have conflicting emotions. However you feel is valid. Be kind and be gentle to yourself because you're going to be dealing with a lot of feelings all at once. Don't be afraid to take the time to sit down and process all of those, to sit with all of those feelings, okay, um, so that you can move through them. I do feel like, and it's going to be a little bit overwhelming, I do feel like in one sense it's going to make you um, it's going to bring in a little bit of closure. It's going to make you feel good in a certain aspect. Another way is going to just bring up a lot of emotions, a lot of love, a lot of fear, a lot of worry. Okay, that's just going to bring up a lot. And I feel like that's what you don't see coming. Okay, that's what you don't see coming here. So we're going to pull some additional message cards and then some action cards. Any additional messages from my beautiful Pisces, please? Ooh, that's too many. Any additional messages from my beautiful Pisces? I want to be more than friends. I don't react when people mention you. I wish things could be different. I left you before you could leave me, and I want to tell you how I feel. So, I do feel like this person, okay, um, there's something about it where whether this is you or whether this is them, just take what applies for you. If it doesn't resonate for you, then, you know, leave it for somebody else. I do feel like this person does want to, um, with this, I want to be more than friends. There's something here where they definitely want to reconnect. Okay, they want to take you guys from where you're at. And like we talked about with the temperance in reverse, you know, they want to improve on that. Okay, now with this, I don't react when people mention you. Okay, and I wish things could be different. With this energy, whether this is you or them, or maybe even both of you, I do feel like both of you guys are really keeping within um, how you feel. 
when it comes to this. So if you're really hurting and really tore up about this, Pisces, I feel like nobody knows it but you, okay? And I feel like it's like that for them too. I feel like you guys have been really keeping, you know, these really deep, true feelings to yourself. And I left before you could leave me. So this card came, to me is a card of self-sabotage. So whether this, regardless of who did the leaving, okay, if this is, re if this part resonates for you, you know, somebody, somebody has a tendency of leaving and it, whether it's, or, you know, reacting poorly, there's some kind of like self-sabotage. It's coming from a deeper trauma is what I'm trying to get at. Okay. So some of them, that is what contributed to some of the toxic things that they have or some of the codependency or the not being able to walk away. There's something, there's some deeper rooted things that need to be taken a look at. Okay. And I want to tell you how I feel. This person wants to come forward. They're trying to figure out how to, they're trying to figure out how to communicate. They're trying to figure out how to get you guys from where you guys have been. Okay. And everything that you've been through to a more healthy, whole and balanced place. They're trying to figure that out. They're stepping into the clarity and awareness about how to do that moving forward. So we're going to pull some action cards. Okay. What actions will this person be taking towards Pisces? What actions will this person be taking towards Pisces, please? Okay, you got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So an apology. There's something that they want to apologize for. The Eight of Wands. So yeah, some of them will be reaching out to apologize to you. They're trying to figure out how to do that now. They're trying to figure out what to say, how to, you know, they want to have a plan when they approach you. They, won't, they don't want to just come in and just say something. You know, they want to have a plan. Okay, they want to know how they're going to get you guys from where you're at to where they want you to be. Okay, to a more whole, healthy, and balanced place. But I do feel like some of you guys could be hearing from them. They're going to be reaching out and that they want to apologize. What actions will Pisces be taking towards this person? What actions will Pisces be taking? The full card. So I feel like you're going to at least be open to the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're going to be really open to what they have to say. Some of you guys are going to, it's going to make you really happy. I do feel like it's going to bring up a lot. You know, the Ten of Cups, it's... It's a lot of emotion. I feel like it's going to bring up a lot of emotion for you. Okay, but I do feel like you guys are at the very least going to be willing to hear what they have to say. Others of you, you know, this is what you've been waiting for. Okay, this is what you've been waiting for. So, my loves, that is what I have for you. And if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising in Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys hit the notification bell, then when we do our monthlies, our mid-monthlies, and our weeklies, you can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. So I am sending so much love and so much light until next time.